Things First is sponsored by Gillette, the best a man can get. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a Monday morning here in New York City. This is First Things First. I'm Jenna Wolf. That is the Hall of Fame. Welcome Chris back, Carter, man. Nick Wright. Great you to have you back. It's true Friday. Days. But you had a very fun weekend. Yeah. We saw you all over social media, thoroughly enjoying yourself. We had a great time. Great time. Great weekend. Inducted eight people into the hall. Tremendous. They got to work on them speeches, though. They do. I think someone, I think they still <laughs> talk. still going. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no music that plays to get them off the oh, stage. No. We're going like to have the Sandman they... come next year. <laughs> uh, we got a great show for you today. Lots of football to talk about. Antonio Brown is already missing time with a foot injury. Ezekiel Elliott, he's still waiting for a new deal, unlike Tom Brady. And that's where we start this morning. Big news at a Patriots camp as their quarterback of the past and present is now their quarterback of the near future. Six-time Super Bowl champ Tom Brady, who just turned 42 this weekend, reportedly agreed to a two-year, $70 million extension, making him just the sixth highest paid quarterback this season. Yesterday, he tweeted, I got a chance to hold my draft card a few hours ago. Never forget where you came from. See, what do you make of the deal that Tom Brady got from the Patriots? I'm not surprised at all. Uh, last week when we talked about it, we asked, was there concern that Tom Brady didn't have a deal? And I was like, no, because I thought that they would do something before the season started. And just like in Patriot fashion, they zig when you think they're zagging and they create even more cap space. Yeah, they give Tom Brady the extension, but they, they created more cap space. And then talking to not only to Belichick this weekend, but talking to another New England executive, and this is how Belichick wants it. Like he likes a quarterback on a friendly deal that now he can go out potentially and always get three to five quality football player. So they realize the Tom Brady situation is one of a kind in the NFL. They're trying to take advantage of the window that they pried back open and being in the last three Super Bowls, believe in these next three years that they can get a couple more Super Bowl appearances. They were probably going to do it a different way, a different style, but I'm not surprised at all. Uh, Robert Kraft, has four sons officially, biologically. But in his conversation, he always talks about the fifth, and that son being Tom Brady. Right now, you can see even this weekend, Jonathan Kraft is, 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 is starting to have a more prominent role in the New England um, franchise. He was at the Hall of Fame weekend. I'm not surprised, not surprised at all. Bill Belichick, I don't know why we keep trying to make him quit. And I don't know why we don't take Tom Brady at its word that he's going to try to play until he's 45. And the only man that can stop him is Belichick. And Belichick doesn't have full control because the Kraft family, they realize how important Tom has been, not only to their overall development, their father in this franchise, and how Mr. Kraft got the $6 billion as far as net worth. Tom Brady had a lot to do with that. And, and I'm really happy for Brady because it wasn't just an additional year. It's two additional years, which takes him two-thirds of the way to his goal of the age 45 season. So the age 45 season would be this year plus three more more years. He's now locked in for this year plus two more years. To your point, C, he gets an $8 million cash infusion this year. He gets a cash raise, but they also, his cap hit goes from where it was at 27 down to 22. The Patriots already had, I think, about $9 million of cap space left open. Now it's 14, and you mentioned could they add three or four quality players or could they add one star quality player, a player that is available and that they've been rumored to be poking disgruntled with his contract prior to this even happening? There had been rumors that the Patriots were a team that had been in contact with Washington. Now that they have extra money, could that be the fit? Or will they just keep that flexibility open, see who comes available or roll it into next year? But this is... Good, obviously, for both sides. For Brady, he gets the security. And the Patriots, they know they don't have to worry about Tom Brady accepting a franchise tag next season, which would put them in a very difficult financial position. And if you look at their roster, they now have the following, all locked up for this year and next year. Brady, 
all of their running backs, Edelman and of course the rookie wide receiver, four fifths of their offensive line. So that's almost the entirety of their offense that we consider difference makers. On defense, Michael Bennett's locked up, Dante Hightower's locked up, their entire secondary except for Devin McCourty locked up. So you've got, with the exception of Devin McCourty and a guard, Everyone that seemingly matters the most for the Patriots locked into this season and next season. That was the case a couple days ago, except for Brady. Now Brady's on that list as well. We talked about it on Friday. The Patriots, they're all in on Brady and Belichick, but mainly Brady, because mm -hmm. Belichick most likely will be there for a while. So they go, he wanted three years, they gave him two. Does that tell you anything about how the negotiations went or what his plan might be? Do you think they had long talks about what he wants and what they would settle for? Yeah, I think Tom's had different different plans than they had the whole time. But they're going to give the deal that's best for the organization. And they understand where they're at with Tom Brady. And I don't think that that third year is really that important to them. 45 doesn't mean anything to them. Two year extension given the one year, that is three years to them. Like, will he be able to make it to 45? I, we're talking about his contract. I don't believe that that's that important. I do believe he's going to try. And there's a reason why he keeps saying that, the reason why he put on the added weight. He's going to try to play until he's 45. So the extension, it is a great thing. The pay raise is a great thing. And of course, like New England, they're the best in the business. They create more cap space. And I think, Nick, you make a great point. This is the team you're going to see for the next two years. Yep. You might as well get used to it. This is what we're going to see. And I'm sure Belichick, he's going to tinker with it a little bit, but I believe this physical style for which they're going to play, the same physical style that won them the first three Super Bowls, they've been a little more finesse on the last three Super Bowls, but I believe they're going back to how they won those original Super Bowls and get after people offensively, gonna run the football, gonna play the Tom Brady strength, keep the game close, have him win it in the fourth quarter, great defense. I believe their defense will definitely be a top 10 defense, top five in scoring. They have the best secondary in football, and their special teams typically are one of the top five, top to bottom units that we're going to have in the NFL. And this is a moment where I think it's important to step back and think about what just happened here. The Patriots, well regarded as maybe the smartest organization in all of sports, just decided it is in their best interest. It is a good move to give $70 million dollars for a player's age 43 and age 44 seasons. That is impossible. That is, the, just, just three years ago, that would have sounded laughable, that we're talking about a guy not playing into his mid-30s, but playing into his mid-40s and the Patriots saying, sign us up for it. it. Yes, it is a testament to the way the game has changed and players are aging, all of that, but it is truly a testament to number 12 and to the way he has been able to adjust his game, adjust his body, stay in shape, stay viable into what would be his third decade of professional football. It's absolutely remarkable. And you wonder if guys like Philip Rivers and Ben Roethlisberger, maybe not Eli Manning, but some of the older guys that were sort of around at the same time are thinking, mm -hmm. well, okay, look what he was able to do. He's now opened up the door for no us doubt. to be playing into our 40s. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll talk a lot much more about this coming up. On the other side, can a healthy Antonio Brown lead the Raiders back to the playoffs? Keyword there is healthy, though. That's next on FS1. You can always check us out on the Fox Sports channel on SiriusXM. We'll be right back.